Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we are reacting to Bridge Over Troubled Water, sung by So Young. So Young? So Young. So Young. So Young. So young yeah. And I think it's been highly requested on our channel, and we're very excited about it. We hear that she's just an amazing gospel style singer. Yes. Um, I'm sure she can do lots of different things, but we're really looking forward to it. If you guys are new to our channel, we are Chase and Malia, and we are singers ourselves. We're voice teachers, vocal coaches, and we just love singing. So we're really excited to use this React video to help you if you are also a singer. If you want to learn something and add that to your practice and your technique, we hope that you take that away from this video. If you're new to our channel, we are going to be stopping a lot, breaking things down technically. We do things in a style that you might see in a vocal lesson. These are This is sort of the way our vocal lessons were structured where we would stop and talk about why we think something is happening or you know how to fix it or just how to replicate it how to do it the Absolutely. same way so if you want to just watch the video and not us talk you might want to go watch a different video <laughs> <laughs> definitely awesome this is a blind reaction so this is our first time ever hearing her sing so let's get started so <laughs> young interesting happened in the music just then whoa Thought they were gonna change keys or something whoa oh my gosh okay put my drink down first impressions okay i um i really like her voice so far i oh. think she is doing what's not to like yeah i know um i oh gosh there was so much i can't even think you go first okay i just wanted to talk about the first section when she first mm -hmm. came in very straight tone yeah definitely very you know and and what like the word that pops out to my head is controlled right like okay, it feels okay. very um i don't want to say tight because that's not what i'm really I think that's not what i really yeah. mean but you know it's definitely uh i don't remember how it went anyway mm -hmm. it was definitely very straight tone and very kind of held mm -hmm. and you know that was a great way to to intro yeah. the song yeah you can tell she's using it as like a dynamic effect so totally. she's probably going to start like bringing that a little bit more in well like we you already can saw hear that. the fuller the fullness of her sound coming out um i i think i need to rewind it a yeah, little bit is that I'd okay there's a part where she's like she's just like um maneuvering through her her range in a really beautiful way yeah. i think um, let's go back to where she transitions because yeah. there's a she takes a full breath yeah. after that really um subdued uh straight tone part yeah she takes a full breath and really starts using her air yep and that's uh, that's what i think is just a beautiful use of dynamics right when times get that breath starts giving it more. All head voice. Or 
gorgeous. It's such a weird thing that, in the music. Really? Yeah. There's something, something like where they cut out and they start doing boom, bing, boom, boom. Oh, anyway, I just thought it was. I want to talk about, I have to rewind it. I'm really sorry. I want to talk about, first of all, the key that she is singing in. I, I wasn't expecting that. I feel like it's not normally sung this high. She is a very high voice. Um, and by high, I don't mean she's like singing high. Um, I just think that like her natural range, like her break is probably higher. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Sure. So like where she's kind of bringing that chest belty mix, it's a bit higher than where I feel like a lot of other like gospel singers are. They have a lot a lower voice. Oh, sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, So I, I just want to think of an example. So she like goes from, I will lay. like she goes from singing it really breathy and airy, and then she starts bringing in her full folds, like, I will lay, and has that bright yeah. vowel, but it's like fully phonated. Lay. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And it's just, that's a really beautiful dynamic choice. Yeah. Yeah. I love watching her, uh, her mouth through this because. It's, oh, it's yeah. really interesting. People who have been in choir or or who watch a yeah. lot of singers, you might have like, oh, and you know, tall vowels, tall vowels and big, big vowels. But she's just, I will lay me down. Yeah. Right? It's all right here, and yep. it's not. You don't need that much more. Right. It's it's that nasality that we talk a lot about sure. too. Like right. It's cutting right behind her teeth. Yeah. Like right behind her front teeth. I would call it seeing in the mask. I yeah, would call it, you know, so just too. having that forward resonance. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Like See, even just that, she... Like a, so she flips. Like, it's very airy. Like a bridge. And then she changes, even within the phrase... From that breathy airiness yeah. to the full, more phonated sound. Let's hear it again. Do you see that? Like, within a note. doesn't bring vibrato in and that's interesting i expected her to that that, that way she, she the way she pulls off dynamically oh my she god she has air going all oh the gosh. way past all when way she's the saying the vowel that Absolutely. was really good if you've I, ever tr oh i'm sorry go ahead no i was just gonna say i'm just really surprised there's no vibrato that takes a lot more air I just think about one of the tests. Oh, I was in a professional choir for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And one of the tests for the audition oh. was to crescendo over four bars <laughs> consistently. Crazy. And then diminuendo, because decrescendo is not really a word, but we all say it. Anyway, but then diminuendo over the next four. And you had to be really consistent. You can't like get to the super quiet too quick or you can't get very loud too quick. Yeah. Um, and that's really, really hard to do. So if you haven't tried that, give it a shot. It's wild yeah. how difficult that is to Dude. slowly and consistently pull back. Absolutely. When you So something that is tough to diagnose that I just notice sometimes right. is, you know, being tight, mm -hmm. being tight here. And I heard a lot of that in the, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's, you know, 
being straight tone, you kind of have to tighten up to like, mm-hmm. st- you know, keep your vibrato out of it. Yep. But something that you can notice is a lot of people doing this. Mm-hmm. And that's like your neck muscles back here tightening up, mm-hmm. um, which is it's because it's all attached. So if one of them tightens up, this is going to be tight. Yep. If this is tight, then these are going to be tight. Right. So it's kind of just a sign that it's, you know, it's pretty tight in there. That doesn't make it like inherently unhealthy or a bad thing or anything like that but it is a sign that there is tension but there is yeah. a sign it is a sign that there is tension yeah. and and when people do this kind of stuff or when mm-hmm. they're when they've got their um vibrato going and it's mm-hmm. shaking their head yeah that's a muscle thing it's right. it's it's you you know doing that with muscle and with with tension right i think the caution is that rather than doing that you allow like air to, yeah. to like motivate your dynamics but i think the hardest part is that the stylistic choice is to suppress vibrato i think ultimately what we're saying is you can't really sing with this straight tone without that tension so while that might be a stylistic choice maybe be cautious like to sing i remember when we were in choir and you don't want your vibrato coming out in choir because no. you're trying to blend and that would be so tiring on my voice yeah. especially when you then need to sing in a classical setting and you have to kind of go like back and forth yeah. um, it's just it could be really difficult on your voice but I would also say that's the great debate right, right? the great debate is that do you need this muscle back here or these muscles here mm-hmm. to sing well right. and you know from like the anatomy books and all that kind of stuff, you know, people, people say that we're too textbook and you're probably right. You know, we, <laughs> we could, funny. we could definitely be more emotional, right, kind of stuff, right, right. but w- the way you look at it, if you look at how the voice is structured, mm-hmm. these muscles don't actually have anything to do with your voice. Yep. And so to say that you need them to, in order to do certain stuff is, is to us, yeah. you know, we, we disagree. So we're yeah. on one side and other people are on the other side and we're all fans of great singers. So, Absolutely. you know, take, take what you want and, and leave what you don't. Yeah. Um, but that is the great debate is, yeah. is can you sing certain styles or certain ways freely and yeah. without tension? Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's just always the I question. I really, I think that what I love the most about her voice so far is, um, like her higher mix, like mask belting yeah. is just really like piercing sounds like a bad word it's but a it's good so thing. like it is just so powerful. nice and powerful yeah. but it's also really pleasant to my ear without being overbearing That's right I mean. you can yeah. have a powerful voice yeah. it's it's you know it's like if you're trying to reach somebody mm-hmm. across the room over a, like a loud room and you get a little yes. bit of that that um what did you say the piercing piercing, yeah. piercing quality of your voice that's the singer's foreman, you know, is exactly. what we would call yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how opera singers sing over an orchestra. It's yeah. efficiency. Yeah. All that kind of, we talk about that all the time on the, mm-hmm. on the channel. But I love that because she uses it in such a beautifully dynamic way where yeah. even when she's singing so softly, yeah. it's not very quiet. It's right. not hard to hear. Right. Right? And there's a difference between quiet and... And soft, and soft, absolutely. And like making that that it's distinction. It's not always volume. It's mm-hmm. not always like yeah, literally Love the it. sound, the loudness. Yeah. Love it. That was interesting. Did you hear that? Mm. It was almost like a Judy Garland. I've heard her vibrato, and I wonder if it like escaped. It was a it was a really fast. It was like really, really fast, which you don't really hear. So I wonder if that was because I I've been hearing everybody. Really, yeah. I thought that that was to me. What that is happening there is it's it's a bit headier of a mix than a chest mix that you've been hearing through the song. So well, she's, that's such a. It's not the passaggio. It's like it's like right there at the upper end of your speaking like absolutely. range, and that's so hard to control. We oh talked about gosh, that in the that's... Nightwish video, where you know you have to. It's a different. Um, airflow definitely you have to kind of pace it differently like it's hard to control yeah and I feel it feels a little bit like wobbly is I think the Mm. quality that I would Mm. I would say that that sounds negative and I think it's just in comparison to everything else everything has been so clean yeah and like she's had very little vibrato in a lot of it to me I don't know let's back it up because I because I think that it's her voice is getting a little bit lost in the uh, mix
Wow. Did you get chills? I got super I got chills. Some chills. You know. I really love how oh she sings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I we gotta watch that again. But yeah, we it's do. funny. So we didn't really watch React videos before mm-hmm. we started making, making them. Making them. We talk about voice all the time. This mm-hmm. is basically what we do whenever we watch singers. Right. We just talk. We, just talk about it. we talk about what they th- we think we're doing and just kind of what they think we think they're doing and yeah. and different stuff. And we discuss about it. And yeah. so now we just have a camera in front of us while we're doing it. You guys all watch us watch it. <laughs> but I did not think that I was going to really get chills. Oh yeah, ever. in this ki- type of format. You right. know what I mean? It's sometimes it's hard mm. to, um, you know. When you listen to singing all the time or you've studied singing or you've been around great singers, you know, it's, you can enjoy stuff, but it's a little bit different. It's like your, it's like your, your world a little yeah. bit. And so it's, it's for me, at least being a robot, um, <laughs> it's hard for things to, to really kind of touch me, but I just yeah. got chills from well, that. Well, and a lot of people also talk about how like, we don't talk about the emotion and like the artistry of singing. And you're right. Like this is purely technical for the yeah. most part. And that's just because... That's what we're trying to teach. So yeah. that put aside, well, there's still like a feeling you get, like th- whether you know what you're talking about or not, there is a feeling you get from good singing, singing. and yeah. that is just ha- that happens, and that's why music is so powerful. Yeah. Um, and that's why it doesn't matter the technicalities yeah. of it at all. Like people um, evoke emotions, evoke. Yeah. Yeah. People evoke emotions. It, with their instruments, and people, yeah, yeah, and other people, and that happens for us differently. So hmm. that's the beauty of the of the art. Somebody said it was like how you know singing is all emotion, and mm. and we would I, we would agree that performance yeah. is mostly emotion, right? But if you've ever been to like an open mic, mm. you know, emotion's not going to help you play the guitar or sing right. in the right key. Yeah, so you have to practice the technical yeah to to the point where you don't have to think about the technical anymore and now you can focus on the emotion and then you're ready to perform and the people who are the best at it are actually the most technically advanced at this so all of these people we react to have spent hours and years and lifetimes working on the technical before and behind the scenes so that it looks effortless and so that they just do this with such like artistry that's yeah. the part where they get to create and, and perform yeah. and that's the beauty of it but yeah. i'm i want to watch that again yes, that please. was so great i almost paused it I'm i know so glad i'm glad I you didn't, didn't oh my god because i thought i saw that I almost smacked your hand really opens up right now
Wow. <laughs> wow. I just I just dig her voice so much. Oh it's really gosh. hard to know what to say. Well, if you back it up, there's a clear picture of her throat. You know, she's got she's got some muscle going. You know, like when people say that they're not singing with tension or they're, you right, know, right, right, no, right, no, right. no, she's perfect in every way and right, singing right, right. tension is, is a bad thing right. and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's just a different um, approach, a different philosophy, all that kind of stuff. I think there's also, I, I don't know, I think that there is also a requirement of of that a little bit in like the genre of contemporary gospel belting, belting music. music. I think there's a requirement of muscle um, just because of you the sound, so? because of the sound. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of people who believe in, you know, mixing and I'm one of those people, but that's because not necessarily I prefer the sound of it. Really? I believe in mixing because I think it is the ultimate like the ultimate technical goal where you sound like you're belting. full on belting or you sound like you've got that power from from your chest, but you're doing it in a healthy way to where you're not tired. You can keep doing it. It's much easier. Who doesn't want that? Who wouldn't want to sing powerfully easier, easier easily? Um, however, I think that we've learned this even just doing reaction videos. People like the sound of the struggle. Yeah. That is a sound that it's we like. The, it is part of the... It's part of what gives us chills, It is part right? of what gives is, us chills. Is that she's wrecking it. She's exactly. just working it hard. It I, adds to the emotion. Uh, yeah. I said earlier, her stomach is probably as tight as a drum. Right. Because she is has the breath support um, to yeah. do all these things. And, yeah. and And that's where I think that power really comes from. Right. Is, you know, you're not like flexing, but you're, or you are definitely sending your air yeah, yeah, up yeah. and through and it is and if you watch her she's there mm-hmm. her legs are um are, yeah st- like equal the with the stance. part yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. the power stance yeah. her knees are a little bit bent mm-hmm. you know she is using her whole body to yeah. sing i think the other thing too i in the beginning when she was singing with that more airy quality you could hear air escaping that's what that is and that um you know that isn't to me as pleasant of a sound because what i hear for that is like not a full phonation versus this here at the end this beautiful like belting mixing that she's doing i hear her vocal folds closing fully and i think that that's to me just a really pleasant sound Hmm. it sounds efficient and like vibrant and resonant do you think that breathiness though can it is sometimes the best call for a, for a style of song. I would say that the style, absolutely. I just think that that's why, dynamically, what she does here, I think that it's interesting. And I, yeah. I like that she does it. But I would say that I think that her voice sounds better when she is not. Sure. Sure. I I think that, you know, I'm, I'm usually pretty picky with, yeah. I have a breathy voice. Mm-hmm. That's something that I struggle with constantly. Right. And so the voices that I like are very clear mm. and not breathy because that's what I want for myself. Right. And I loved her, her The beginning voice. of it. I loved yeah. the beginning. I wanted to not like it because I wanted to say like, oh, straight tone. Straight, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. your sounds tight, you know, right. all that kind of stuff. And I wanted, and I wanted to go there, but I was just too... Too enamored. Inf- enamored. Yeah. Beautiful word. Yeah. I was too infatuated and enamored with the, her beautiful singing. Yeah. And just the use of dynamics mm-hmm. is um is really astounding. Yeah. No, I was. I think that to me, the thing that I loved the most was just her. Like, obviously, why people love her, but like her belting, she is. She's <laughs> got some wild, really incredible um ability. I just love that she used. Her full body. Yeah. You know, a lot of people just sit and like slunch and slouch and do this and do that. Mm -hmm. But if you watch some really amazing singers, they all have a power stance. They get into it. They take a a good low breath (laughs) and they're using their entire body to do that. Yep. Just amazing. So long story short, we love So Young. She's amazing and we can't wait to listen to more of her. She's got so many songs. Oh my gosh. And what's cool is that we're actually also worship leaders and and she sings a lot of the same kind of uh, music music that we have sung in the past so if you like this video please give it a like and if you're new here please consider subscribing we make new videos like this every week and we'd love to have you be a part of the channel thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time